Namaste, this is Julia and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California and welcome to a very fun haul. Now if you watched the last two videos, I did two short come with me's. These are nurseries that I've been to before in the past that I shared on the channel. And since my grandma is leaving in three days to go home to Hawaii, I'm not too sure when she's going to be back. Hopefully, maybe at least for the holidays at the end of the year. I wanted to take her back to Santa Barbara. It's been a handful of months since I've been out there and I did take her there once. So I figured why not take her out there for some Sunday fun day and see what's going on for plant life in that part of California. So we drove 90 miles up north. So it's about an hour and a half to Santa Barbara from Santa Monica. Beautiful sunny day. Went to visit two of my favorite nurseries out there that I haven't been to for a while, which both places I actually got some cool plants from. After that, I stopped by one of my favorite vegan restaurants and I got this really amazing vegan bowl. And then I took Evie to my favorite dog beach and let her walk the whole beach with me. So it was a very beautiful, perfect day. And I'm really blessed that I was able to have some time to get away from Santa Monica and the bubble and take my grandma out to enjoy before she goes back home to Hawaii. So that's kind of sad. Hopefully maybe in tomorrow's video, maybe we'll get her one more time on the channel before she leaves. And we are going back to San Diego in two days. So maybe we'll be able to do some cool stuff. Regardless, stay tuned on the vlog channel. You will see my week in the life of Julian. You'll see all of the things that we are currently doing after my travel with Julian, Lebanon, Jordan, and Cairo episodes. So in today's video, very short video, and I got two awesome plants. You guys know I do collect a handful of plants. I love Ripsalises, Sensevarias, Hoyas, Philodendrons, Peperomias. Those are like my go-to plants that I love collecting. And having a collection that is around 600 plants right now, uh, it takes a lot for me to get excited for something or walk into a nursery and be able to find something I don't have. With that being said, one of the nurseries that I went to, now if you watch the last two come with me, these are two nurseries I've been to before. Haven't been there for a while, so they're very short. The first nursery, I was able to pick up some cool plants. The second the nursery, there wasn't anything fun and exciting for me, so I didn't purchase anything. But let me show you what I picked up and why I ended up purchasing these plants for the collection. So the first one is a very interesting, I know you guys, yes, this is a plant in the thumbnail. So this is a very fun ripsalis. It's nice and hairy and as you can see there's tinges of red on it from being in the sun. This is a ripsalis pilocarpa and I've never seen one like this big you guys. I'm gonna give it a spin so you can see and the reason why I repurchased this plant was because the one that I have is super super small and I'm trying to think where I got it. Maybe I purchased mine in Ventura a while back or maybe at the plant show. I'm not too sure which by the way I will go again this summer. But I absolutely love it. So I definitely had to repurchase the plant because like look at this thing. Like how can you not pass up on it if you're a Ripsalis collector like myself. So I picked this up. Here's what my little baby looks like. And as you can see, I'll put it side by side. Very similar. I want to say it's the same Ripsalis. But mine's is of course smaller and all green because it's living in the front of my bed and not getting like hard sun. But I still love this one and who knows, you know, maybe in the future I can gift this to one of my plant friends or if anybody is interested in purchasing Ripsalis. I think I have maybe two sections in here that I'm willing to one of my favorite Ripsalis. So when I seen that one in person that big, I was like, there's no question about it. I have to pick up the plant for the collection. Here is another fun plant that I can't believe I have. Oh my goodness. This is an awesome Peperomia. This is Peperomia Ruby Cascade. Take a look at it. They're like little hearts. Like how cool is that? I don't think I've ever seen this plant and if I did, definitely not this size. So I had to pick it up. And if you look really good in certain parts of the plant, they have of course that little rat tail bloom. I don't know if the camera's picking it up right here. And I was like, what is this Peperomia? How cool is this? When I seen this Peperomia, there was no ifs, ands, or buts. I had to pick this up. Ideally, I probably would have want a smaller pot because plant life right now in the States are very expensive. I think with the plant craze and where it's at right now, 
people are taking advantage of that and plants are getting very expensive so let me know down in the comments below if you have this particular rib salis or peperomia and did you have to purchase it um, online because it wasn't readily available in your city or were you able to go to your local nursery or big box store and pick it up and how are you taking care of it so i just wanted to hop on here after i got out the shower i went to the gym this morning and danced and jumped in the shower and washed my hair i'm like you know what this is like the perfect time to hop on and share with you what i got and there's a lot of crazy things happening in my youtube life my laptop battery decides to go on me and i can't charge it so it's stuck in zero percent and i can't use it unless it's plugged in so i'm going to the apple store tonight to hopefully fix that and then my vlogging camera decides to die and break on me so there's a lot of things happening but i'm still making it work to be able to produce daily videos for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed this fun little plant haul again these are big investments for me so hopefully i will do justice for them and stay tuned for a planting with julian in the future i would like to maybe plant up some babies in the greenhouse i probably will go through the collection before my grandma leaves to kind of give it an overhaul not only them back in my space and not traveling abroad until the summertime i want to really go through the collection and spruce things up so before i go ahead and replant any of my new babies i definitely want to do little things like that but i hope this was a very fun video to watch thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel monday to friday and the vlog channel saturday and sunday you get a video each and every day and stay tuned for this weekend's video you're gonna see a chunk of my lebanon content for travel with julian that was like one of my favorite parts of lebanon and i'm really excited to share that with you guys so thank you guys so much for supporting me and i'll see you guys on the next one until next time aloha from santa monica california bye